How to ensure a similar mistake misconduct will not be repeated in the future for doctors and nurses? Hello everyone. Today's presentation is on how healthcare professionals can ensure that similar mistakes or misconduct are not repeated in the future. As we all know, preventing errors and misconduct in healthcare is crucial for maintaining patient safety and trust. In this presentation, we will discuss the strategies that healthcare professionals can employ to prevent similar mistakes or misconduct, the benefits of a culture of transparency and accountability, the role of technology in preventing errors and misconduct, and the importance of effective teamwork and communication in healthcare. One of the most effective ways to prevent similar mistakes or misconduct from happening again is to utilize the following strategies. Continuing professional development is an ongoing process of learning that healthcare professionals undertake to maintain and improve their knowledge, skills, and expertise. Reflective practice is a technique that involves reflecting on one's actions and decisions, identifying areas for improvement, and taking steps to address them. Clinical audit is a systematic review of healthcare services or processes to ensure that they meet accepted standards of care and identify areas for improvement. Root cause analysis is a technique that involves identifying the underlying causes of a problem or incident and developing strategies to prevent similar issues from happening in the future. A culture of transparency and accountability in healthcare organizations is essential for preventing mistakes and misconduct. It offers numerous benefits, such as Early identification of potential issues, enabling healthcare professionals to take proactive steps to address them before they become significant problems. Improved communication between healthcare professionals, resulting in better coordination and collaboration among team members, and ultimately, better patient outcomes. Improved patient safety, resulting from a focus on continuous quality improvement, patient-centered care, and a willingness to learn from past mistakes. Increased job satisfaction among employees, as it promotes a culture of learning and continuous improvement and empowers healthcare professionals to take ownership of their work. Technology can play a significant role in preventing errors and misconduct in healthcare. The following are some examples. Medication safety technologies such as barcoding, automated dispensing machines, and smart infusion pumps can help reduce medication errors, one of the most common types of errors in healthcare. Electronic health records can improve patient safety by providing healthcare professionals with access to patient information reducing the chances of miscommunication or missed information. Telemedicine can provide patients with access to care and reduce the likelihood of errors or misconduct by enabling healthcare professionals to provide remote consultations, monitor patients remotely, and share information quickly and efficiently. Effective teamwork and communication are essential for preventing mistakes and misconduct in healthcare. The benefits of effective teamwork and communication include Reduced chances of errors due to miscommunication, resulting from a shared understanding of roles and responsibilities, clear communication, and effective collaboration. Improved patient safety, resulting from better coordination and communication among healthcare professionals. Increased job satisfaction among employees, resulting from a more positive work environment greater autonomy and empowerment, and a culture of learning and continuous improvement. Strategies for improving teamwork and communication include improving leadership and management, developing effective communication channels, promoting a culture of learning, and encouraging teamwork and collaboration. Regulatory bodies such as the General Medical Council, GMC, and the Nursing and Midwifery Council, NMC play a vital role in preventing mistakes and misconduct in healthcare. Their responsibilities include setting and enforcing standards of practice and conduct for healthcare professionals, 
investigating complaints and disciplinary cases related to professional misconduct. Providing guidance and support to healthcare professionals to maintain and improve standards of care. The GMC and the NMC work closely with healthcare organizations, educational institutions, and other stakeholders to ensure that healthcare professionals receive the training and support they need to provide high quality, safe, and effective care. In conclusion, preventing mistakes and misconduct in healthcare is essential for maintaining patient safety and trust. We have discussed several strategies that healthcare professionals can use to prevent similar mistakes or misconduct from happening again, such as continuing professional development, reflective practices, clinical audit, root cause analysis, and effective teamwork and communication. We have also highlighted the benefits of a culture of transparency and accountability, the role of technology in preventing errors and misconduct and the importance of regulatory bodies in upholding standards of care. We encourage healthcare professionals to adopt best practices in preventing mistakes and misconduct and to continually strive for ongoing learning and improvement in their practice. By working together and taking a proactive approach to patient safety, we can ensure that our healthcare system remains safe, effective, and trustworthy for years to come. Thank you for your attention. You may refer to above for further reading. Let's start with MCQs. Which of the following strategies can healthcare professionals employ to prevent similar mistakes or misconduct from happening again in the future? A. Continuing professional development. B. Reflective practice. C. Clinical audit. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. What is reflective practice? A. A systematic review of healthcare services or processes. B. A technique used to identify the underlying causes of a problem or incident. C. A way of examining one's actions and decisions and identifying areas for improvement. D. None of the above. Answer. C. A way of examining one's actions and decisions and identifying areas for improvement. What is clinical audit? A. A way of examining one's actions and decisions and identifying areas for improvement. B. A technique used to identify the underlying causes of a problem or incident. C. A systematic review of healthcare services or processes. D. None of the above. Answer. C. A systematic review of healthcare services or processes. What is root cause analysis? A. A way of examining one's actions and decisions and identifying areas for improvement. B. A systematic review of healthcare services or processes. C. A technique used to identify the underlying causes of a problem or incident. D. None of the above. Answer. C. A technique used to identify the underlying causes of a problem or incident. Which of the following is not a benefit of a culture of transparency and accountability? A. Early identification of potential issues. B. Improved communication between healthcare professionals. C. Increased job satisfaction among employees. D. Improved patient safety. Answer. C. Increased job satisfaction among employees. How can technology play a role in preventing errors and misconduct in healthcare? A. By reducing the chances of medication errors occurring. B. By improving communication between healthcare professionals. C. By providing up-to-date medical knowledge. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Which of the following is not a strategy that healthcare professionals can employ to prevent similar mistakes or misconduct from happening again in the future? 
A. Continuing Professional Development B. Root Cause Analysis C. Defensive Practice D. Clinical Audit Answer C. Defensive Practice What is Defensive Practice? A. A strategy to prevent similar mistakes or misconduct from happening again in the future. B. A way of examining one's actions and decisions and identifying areas for improvement. C. A technique used to identify the underlying causes of a problem or incident. D. None of the above. Answer. A. A strategy to prevent similar mistakes or misconduct from happening again in the future. What is the General Medical Council, GMC? A. A regulatory body for healthcare professionals in the UK. B. A healthcare facility in the UK. C. A professional organization for doctors in the UK. D. None of the above. Answer. A. A regulatory body for healthcare professionals in the UK. Which of the following is not a benefit of effective teamwork and communication in healthcare? A. Reduced chances of errors due to miscommunication. B. Improved patient safety. C. Increased job satisfaction among employees. D. Promoting a culture of learning and continuous improvement. Answer. C. Increased job satisfaction among employees. How can reflective practice help healthcare professionals prevent similar mistakes or misconduct from happening again in the future? A. By identifying the underlying causes of a problem or incident. B. By examining one's actions and decisions and identifying areas for improvement. C. By measuring the quality of care provided against agreed standards. D. None of the above. Answer. B. By examining one's actions and decisions and identifying areas for improvement. Which of the following is a technique used to identify the underlying causes of a problem or incident? A. Clinical audit. B. Reflective practice. C. Root cause analysis. D. Continuing professional development. Answer. C. Root Cause Analysis Thank you for time and attention. Contact information for further discussion or questions.